I was naturally curious. And because I was naturally useless at school, I just followed my own curiosity. I first fell in love with the outdoors when I was about 11. And at the same time, I was watching Jacques Cousteau. And that man was living the ultimate dream. There he was, you know, traveling around the world with his dive team on Calypso, and it was fascinating. And I thought, that's for me, I want to be a diver. That dream kept me going. So I was a diver, I was a climber, mountaineer, having big adventures. It takes me to the kind of place that most people never get to, and it gives me an insight from that essential front line of understanding big global issues from the world's greatest scientists. I've got tons of stories. If I tell the story about working up in the Arctic, two in the morning, beautiful night, 24 hour daylight, no wind, soft snow settling onto my tent, and then bang, a 900 pound polar bear jumped on me. My tent sprang, snow came in. I sat there completely naked going, just been jumped on by a bear. I crept to the front of the tent and undid the inner tent and faced these two enormous brown eyes. And we just stared at each other. My heart rate was high and I managed to slow it down. And he stopped at the tent and walked around me for 45 minutes. He walked out on the sea ice. I could breathe again. The yellow rectangle, the name itself. National Geographic opens up the doors. If I can be in front of people and tell those stories it's just happened, I've got their attention and we can carry on and tell the whole story in a more scientific way and a way to help people make smart decisions. This is the benefit of being a National Geographic explorer. You can have these experiences and then use them to make something happen. I'm Paul Rose and I'm a National Geographic explorer.